Hey everybody, welcome to eTrailer.com. I'm Bobby, and today we're taking a look at the Swagman XC2 2-bike platform rack here on our 2021 Nissan Rogue. Now right out of the gate, the Swagman does an excellent job of just getting our bikes to the trailhead. Now you're losing a lot of those bells and whistles you might see on some of those more premium bike racks. As you can see, nothing too crazy going on here. However, it is very effective at getting our bikes to the trailhead. At a 35 pound capacity per bike, we're gonna get most of our standard bikes to the trails with us today. However, as you can see, we are gonna be having frame contact. So if you're looking away, getting those carbon frame bikes to the trails with you, this isn't gonna be an option as this frame contact will end up deteriorating those carbon frames. However, you'll notice that it has a very long mass to actually accommodate for a bunch of different bike needs. So I don't think we're gonna have any issues with this horizontal frame whether it comes with any step-throughs, those women bikes, or those kiddos bikes, we should be doing okay with how much kind of uh, versatility we are getting from this mast. You'll notice too with versatility that we do have some adjustable wheel cradles at the bottom here. So very, very easy to use these guys. All we have to do is loosen those guys up and they just slide along our platform here. Now you can get those open a little bit more and slide them a little easier. I also recommend just a little WD-40, especially if you're leaving this guy on your vehicle for a long time, but those are nice of how quick we can adjust those. So if you have a very needs of bikes, it's nice and easy to get those wheel legs set. And one thing about that too, you'll notice, you can actually offset your bike. So if you're having issues with our handlebars interacting with each other, or even our vehicle, as you see, we are a little close, I might shift these entire cradles over left. That way we can kind of just maneuver around our handlebars. So while it is kind of, you know, the most easily accessible bike rack, it still has a few little advantages we definitely don't want to sleep on. Well, let's go ahead and pull this bike off. See how easy that is to do at the top here? We just have our ratcheting arm systems. Now these do a great job of, yes, ratcheting down on our frames, but you'll notice as I'm pulling up, it doesn't do anything unless I press in that lever and I can simply take it off to the side. I like just removing these entirely. It just makes that take off that much easier for me. But you'll notice this is our last point of contact. So we make a douche, we will make sure we are holding onto our bike. Don't want that tilting into our vehicle or ourselves. And I like just taking these arms off and setting them to the side. And then I can just quickly kind of walk that wheel off like so, and we are ready to ride. So, not as quick and easy as you might see in some other models. However, you don't actually have to take these arms off to get it. You just start having a fight with the rack. And I like making my life that much easier. So go ahead and throw these guys on here real quick. Now with this guy as well, we still want to be able to access that cargo in the back of our Rogue here. And we actually do have a way of doing so. You'll see these little pins kind of all throughout the bottom assembly here. Our middle one, we just want to pull that right out. That's going to release our center mass. And we can either go to either side and actually drop this down to get it out of the way. Now you'll notice it will start interacting with these knobs. So if you had your cradle set a little bit further, you're going to have a little bit harder time of getting that down. So just shifting those cradles down to the side can make that dismount a little easier. But you'll notice now I can go ahead, pop open that hatch. And now I get in here, make a quick access for our coolers, you know, bike helmets, anything we might need. Now, unfortunately though, we actually don't have a way of getting this out of our way in any way, unless we really wanted to. So you can see it kind of becomes a little bit of a pain to actually get in here with this kind of right in our knees. However, nice that we can still get into that cargo. So like seeing that, we can go ahead and bring this guy back up really quick and set that pin back in place for next time. So pretty quick and easy little dismount there. Now with any hitch mounted accessory, we are gonna be adding a little bit of length to our vehicle. Not gonna be too much of an issue here in our Rogue. However, this guy is gonna be a pretty stack or static uh, length there. So let's go ahead and take a quick look and see what we're working at with that. I think our kind of lever here is our arm is gonna be our furthest point of contact and right under 20 inches there. Go ahead and make sure we're right on that guy. Yep, and yep, so about 19 and three quarters there to the end. So definitely being a little bit of length to be considered of. And unfortunately with the XC2, we don't have a way of actually shortening it that down. So that is a good number to keep in the back of our mind. However, we can actually kind of condense this guy down just a little bit. I think it makes it look a little nicer on the back of our vehicle. And I wanted to give you guys a look to see what it looks like when we have it in a storageable position. Already seeing that arm being brought in, cutting down a lot of that width, 
the same can be said for this side. So I really like this configuration, especially you can imagine, you can actually pull this guy off of our vehicle. It can be a really easy way to throw it in a closet somewhere. So if you're not having a lot of space in your garage, I think that C2 does an excellent job with that as well. It does a good job too of getting out of the way of our Rogue, making it look pretty when we're not utilizing it. That actually doesn't shorten our length down too much. I just wanna go ahead and make sure we aren't adding any length in that position. Looks like we are still at our farthest point with our arm, so nothing we wanna to be too afraid of there. Now, another important dimension to keep in mind is our clearance. Since we are in this platform style and we are well enough out of the way here, we're just gonna go ahead and take a look at the bottom of our post of our shank and putting it right at 13 and three quarters. Definitely something we would be mindful of, however, we're going to be pretty much up and out of the way, especially with this nice rise in the shank, doing a good job of making sure that we have a bit of length. Just keep in mind, as those front wheels go up, the back will go down. Moving our way down the hitch here, you can see, or this receiver, I should say, we do have an inch and a quarter receiver. However, we are utilizing a two-inch sleeve adapter. So if you're looking for a bit more versatility, this guy still offers that. We can put this on different vehicles in the family. And we also have a threaded anti-rattle hitch bolt in here. Now it's pretty standard across the industry, but you'll notice as I shake this, that's shaking the hitch, which is shaking the entire vehicle. That means we're in line with one system that's gonna make for a nice smooth ride for ourselves, our bike rack, and especially our bike. So always love to see those still being included. Pretty important little thing there. Well, I think the XC2, as you can see, does an excellent job of just getting your bikes to the trailhead. However, it starts kind of lacking. You don't have a great way of innate security, so we'd have to end up picking up you know, cable locks and locking cores for our bikes to stay A, attached to our vehicle, and also for our bikes to stay attached to our bike rack. So that's some of the failings that I start seeing with it. However, if you're looking at a way of just starting to get riding on the weekends, I think the Swagman does a great job. Well, I think that about does it for our look at the Swagman XC2 two-bike platform rack here on our 2021 Nissan Rogue. I'm Bobby. Thank you for watching. This is our test course. Let's start with the slalom. This shows side-to-side -side action, such as turning corners or evasive maneuvering. Then, onto our alternating speed bumps. This shows twisting action, such as hitting curbs, potholes, road debris, or even uneven pavement. Last of all, the solid speed bumps. This shows up and down action, such as driving through a parking lot or parking garage, or driving in and out of a driveway.